के सुतन बाली शाह लाइट इट्स अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी दैट एनेबल अस टू सी एनीथिंग अराउंड अस द मेन सोर्स ऑफ लाइट ऑन अर्थ इज द सन देयर आर सम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लाइट फर्स्टली लाइट ट्रैवल्स इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन द नेचुरल फिनोमिना रिलेटेड इज द शैडो देन लाइट आल्सो कैन बी रिफ्लेक्टेड दिस इज द कांसेप्ट दैट वी गोना अप्लाई इन आवर इन्वेंशन we see our image in the mirror every day do you know what type of mirror we use this type of mirror is a plain mirror it has a flat surface the characteristic of the image formed by this mirror is virtual there are two type of images first real image and virtual image let's go in deep into real image first it is the image that can be formed or captured on a screen See when i hit this light on the cardboard the real image is formed on the screen but when i hit the light on the plane the image is not formed on the screen whereas the virtual image is formed behind the mirror the next characteristic is the image formed is upright can you see the image is slightly upward and right side other characteristic of image formed is same size as the object The distance between the object and the mirror is the same as the distance between the image and the mirror. Last but not least, the image formed is laterally inverted, where the right side of the image is formed from the left side of the object. There are two other types of mirrors. They are concave mirror and convex mirror. First, get deep into the concave mirror. Its surface curves inwards like an inner part of a spoon. When the light is reflected from a concave mirror, light rays converge at a focal point. Thus, the image formed is magnified, whereas the convex mirror surface curves outwards like outer part of the spoon. The image formed in the convex mirror is diminished. How does the reflection process happen? Well, when the light is not absorbed by the object, it was bounced from the surface. If the surface is smooth, shiny. like glass water or polished metal the light will reflect at the same angle can you see the reflection of the light on the screen it's how it works the light ray which is uh, directed to the mirror is called incident ray while the ray that is reflected from the mirror to the screen is called reflected ray law of reflection states that the angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection So I hope you understand the concept of reflection. Now let's do it. Firstly, prepare the material needed: two plain mirror, a long ruler, a pencil and rubber, a protector, a cardboard, a pen knife, and a hot glue gun. Like this. Now, what should be the angle of the plain mirror? Hmm. Ha! Huh. The law of reflection states the angle of incidence is equals to. the angle of reflection what does the law means let's google it imagine that a perpendicular line is drawn on the reflective surface called normal the angle between the normal line and the incident ray is called angle of incident the angle between the normal line and the reflected ray is called the angle of reflection the law states that the angle of incident is exactly same to the angle of reflection so both plane mirrors should be placed at 45 degrees so that they are parallel which can enable good reflection like this now our periscope is ready Let's see how it works. Yeah, it works.